I was talking to Comrade Prado, Comrade Hector Rodriguez, Comrade Jorge Riarraza, who are in the commission of the organizing commission. I was talking always Licenciado Paria, rector of the CNE, in charge of the organization of this process, of this electoral process, election 2024, of the community circuits. We were talking that precisely each communal, communal circuit is choosing its project, project. At this high level, I can inform you that the projects that have been submitted are around 27,400 projects which has been proposed. An average about six projects per community circuits and some of them are seven or five. 27,420. For example, in Sully, they have proposed 2,000 700 projects in Lara, 2,000 to, in Caracas, 1,000 in Barina, 1,517, and so on. And Suategui, 1,274, Miranda, 1,346, 45. And the community should complete the cycle of assemblies of debate proposal of projects and approval by majority. All the six, seven projects that the community put in, in play. This is the second election, direct popular election, popular democratic election that we do at the national level. The first one uh, was in April. It was a test. It was a successful a success that we had. And the community should now complete their project, but I proposed in the permanent grace that I did for more than 300 cities that with the pe homeland plan, we were launching a new phase of the de direct democracy, of the popular democracy, of the socialist democracy. So I assume the commitment in Canima, in Maracaibo, in Barquisimeto, in Mamera, in Barcelona, in Punto Fijo, in Port Ordaz, I assume the commitment with you to strengthen four and to launch four consultation per year, one per trimester of the priorities, prioritized projects in the communities. Is, are you, do you want more democracy? Yes, we want more democracy. More democracy? Yes, we're just building more. And in Venezuela, there will be more democracy, but the democracy that is established by the Constitution, our model, not the model of the, of the bourgeois democra democracy representative, which is false, which the West and capitalists wants to sell as the only model. We have our own model, our own national model, Venezuela, Venezuela model, made in Venezuela. Look that we are revising Precisely because this will allow us, imagine uh, every three months, the communities will be voting and to approve their own projects. Of, or in, on a majority basis, they will go to vote for their project. And every three months, the funds will be arriving to you. That is to say that they will have a very fruitful work in order to deal with the issues that are prioritized, what are, what, are, what are the projects that are prioritized handling the internal water supply? Water. OK, this is like one by seven out of a good governance that reports water. Fundamental report. Second, viability in the community, in the neighborhood. Third priority which is established electricity, illumination, etc. Fourth, health. Fifth, education. Sixth, environment. Seven, walls. We have a very important wall in the community in Wakire, right? Then afterwards, it goes productive services, 
infrastructure, sea, mar infrastructure, agriculture, sports, sports courts, industri industrial process, public transportation, agriculture systems, tourism. That is to say, all the priorities will com be combined that will mark the life of the community. What should be, what should a democracy be? The empowerment of the citizens, of men, of women, of women, the regular citizen in his community as social being. I would like the Ministry of People's Power, Angel Prado, tell us with this format that I have been able to explain how the process of postulation actually is, ha is going on. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, all the countries. Uh, good afternoon, the communities that are now in assembly, the popular assembly. This really is a very big party, electoral party. There's a lot of work in the territory in the implementation of the 4,500 projects that have been already funded, the projects that are now being complemented by other institutions that have been supporting with resources, with technical equipment, and that the community is valuing the potential and using the potential of the community has strengthened, has increased, not all, perhaps not in the financial area, but the force to to find and to achieve these projects. And then at the same time, Mr. President, people are getting ready, the people are, the communities, the circuits are getting ready for this next popular consultation. There's a big debate which has been retaken, the, the community assembly, the debate, the priority, the priority of projects, the socialism, the territorial socialism, everybody in the community, the 70% of leaders. We were live to Caracas, Venezuela, where President Nicolás Maduro offered statements from the Sol del Peru Hall of the Milaflores Palace during a working meeting for the communal consultation of August 25th. During his remarks, the president called for a process of transformation, of creation, that gathers the immense force of the Venezuelan people. The people is defending peace in a perfect union, designing the future of of Venezuela, a country that is on the right side of history with the legacy of Commander Hugo Chavez as the most dearest treasure. Those were the words of the President Nicolás Maduro. And in the upcoming months, the government will focus its efforts in key sectors like energy, health, agriculture, sports, public transportation, tourism, and many others to empower citizens in their communities. This is all for the moment. Stay tuned with From the South.